I remember the exact moment. I remember the slight touch of ocean air passing over my skin as I stared aimlessly into the afternoon sky. It's interesting how, though generally more depressing, I actually preferred a cloudy sky to a clear one. Two vast expanses of blue separated do not have that quality of diversity that a more speckled display boasts. This is not to say that a cloudy sky is wholly unfortunate, because there were moments amidst the grey that I learned to dwell in. I learned to live in the moments where the heavens would tear through the sky as if digging through dirt, creating little bursts of pastel light in the otherwise desaturated gloom. It's as if clouds are nothing but a frame. I wonder if without them, happiness would turn into a flat portrait of stagnation. Well, all right then. Hello, and welcome to Pravi's Wheelhouse. Uh, <laughs> we're back playing more of the old city Leviathan, yet again. Uh, chapter 8, Behemoth. So uh, let's go and, uh, let's go and do that. We'll just, uh, shut that door. There we are. All right. Behemoth. Oh, wow. That is nice. Oh, what does this say? Put aside Leviathan. Explore your dreams until the world fades and progress is maintained. Interesting. This is gorgeous. All right. I can do the thing. This music is creepy. Have I been here before? I may have. Oh. That's nice. I like uh, symmetrical patterns. So, seeing something like this, this is nice. There's nothing over there, is there? Something that way. Let's go look over here for a minute. I always want to get close to... Whoa, what is that? Is that Leviathan? It does look like a whale, doesn't it? No, that's not a whale. That's, um... That's a giant floating man. Okay, uh, <laughs> giant floating man. We're going to go up there in a minute and look at the giant floating man. But for now, I want to come over here. That is gorgeous light. Just, just the way all that is. That is beautiful. Some kind of banners up there. All right, let's go. Uh, let's walk a little faster. Let's go look at the giant man. There's nothing over there. Giant minotaur. Sorry. Man, listen to me. I'm such a racist. I just always think everything is men. Men, men, men. Well, hello. Giant floaty man. Yeah, you really are just floating there, ain't you? Oh, whoa. Hello. What is, what is that? Oh, wow. Look at that. Mm. 
space. So this is the only way to go. All right then. Oh, what's this? Make the leap. What, from here? I don't think, I don't think I can. Over there? I don't think so. Hmm. I wonder where they want me to make the leap. Probably through here. Well, open this big old door. Oh, that looks ominous. Giant spiky teeth everywhere. Hmm. Down we go. So quiet here. Makes me nervous. I think there will be people. Oh. Oh, wow. That looks. Is he moving? He is. That's not a statue. That's a big sleeping dude with horns. Okay. Big sleeping horny dude. Not that kind of horny. I'm going to hide here. Oh, I'm, I'm clipping through. Okay. I'm not supposed to be there. <laughs> oh, this is where I have to make the leap. Okay. She so just, just want me to jump in the hole. You, uh... You okay, buddy? All right. Here we go. What? Why can't I do it? Oh, there we go. Loading. Loading. What are we loading? Chapter 9, The Leap. Okay. Fair enough. I still have no idea what's going on with this thing. Oh. We seem to be... in a train station. Of some kind. To Water Avenue. We're almost there, Leviathan. The final step between me and the old city is upon us. I wish I could take you along. I wonder if I can go through this door up here. The answer is no. I cannot. Okay, what is this? Remain behind yellow line at all times. Out of order. There's an eye over there on the phone. La la, viva, soul juice. I, I want soul juice. G give me, give me some soul juice, please. No, okay. Okay. Remain behind the yellow line at all times on the ceiling, too. Do people usually walk on the ceiling? Alright. So I gotta go up here. We're gonna take the normal steps. Doop-a-doop-a-doop. -a -doop -a -doop. 
more water, little hand cart. Will you remember me? After all, I could never forget you. And how can I even begin to thank you for all that you've done for me? You protected me from a world that I was too weak to bear. But now the distant shores of another reality are calling me home. To something I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. A dangerous and unpredictable world lies ahead of me. But I'm ready to let loose the sails. Sharon Station. Hmm. I wonder if that's supposed to be a reference to uh, Charon, the ferryman of the dead. Because you change that S to a C, and boom. I don't know where to go from here. I think I'm going to go this way for a minute. I want to see if there's something up here. Probably not. There's a door. And I bet I can go that way. But I don't know if I want to. Just yet. Hmm. Can I get up there? I cannot. I am not a very good jumper. There's nothing that way. Oh, hello. What is this? Some sort of a weird. That's a whale. Arrows and a boat. Going this way. More arrows. We got the minotaur and the eye. Deduction. Certainty. What's that say? Fonts? Fontes? Interesting. Here it is. The leap. Goodbye, my old friend. Oh. Watch your step. That's the leap. Okay, now I want to go back and check that door. I know, I'm running all over the place. I should have went to it first. But I just can't help myself. I need to explore. I'm going to hurry back this way. At least as fast as I can dawdle. These these pictures are neat. And this thing, what is that? Is that an N? Or just a weird ziggy zag? Or something? I mean, this is gorgeous artwork. Somebody's drawn. Alright, let's go see if those doors will open. And if they will, what's on the other side? Upsy daisy, up to the doors. They will open. Something's in here. Hello. 
just want to sail, travel in style. Book your journey aboard the escape. Huh. Oh, there's a an arrow. Oh, we got some, some pretty stuff here. What is that? It all started when I was a child. I just started after I began to ask questions over and over until my poor parents were forced to respond to the arbitrary certainties. Why, I asked. Why, why, why? Over and over. I wanted to regress until I hit a point where I said so was the only acceptable answer. It was at that moment the small amount of parental authority that I felt safe in the most bizarre and unfortunate turn of events. Blah, 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 blah. But what is an ideal perspective? What is the perfection that I should have latched on to? That's just the fun of it, isn't it? It isn't real. It's a dream, my dear reader. The ideal was never real, and it was never within my grasp. To even attempt to reach it would have destroyed my happiness. The child in me could not handle this, however, so I rejected the ideal. I wanted to remain safe, yes. And until I did so, and I did so until it happened. My father once recited a poem to me about an older world. I believe it was called Dover Beach. I can still remember the imagery, just the words that escaped me. We stood at the shoreline, waves crashing in, each wave eroding yet another piece of what I once believed. I think my father saw what was happening to me. He saw the dwindling of my dreams, the death of discovery. I could no longer rely on Abba to build my dreams back up. Left with nothing, I convinced myself that there were no dreams. No. Hello. Subway access. Old city water treatment. We got some notes here. There's a thing there. That bell? Goodbye, bell. Oh no. Some other stuff here. Huh. Oh, there's a box. Let's get that. Okay. I did the thing. There's probably something weird down here. There's bookshelves laying around. up there. Water. Tables. That's like a really long bunch of tables to just be sitting there, man. What is this? Exit. Some more notes here on the wall. Using the dreams. The old city never offered enlightenment. On the contrary, it offers only further dreaming. It is now time for me to take my leap. I wish more would come along. 
Uh huh. And this goes out, I guess. Somewhere. I don't know. Oh, I'm here. Okay. I'm up here then. So it just leads me all the way back around. Anything in here? No. Of course not. And this I should be able to go down. Do, do. Okay. Well, I've been that way then. So, I guess the only thing to do is to go and take my leap. Any of these changed? Certainty, deduction, Fontes. Nope, they're all the same. All right, then. Here we go. Loading. I have no idea what's going on. Hmm. The new. All right. If this final dream before the new is to be trusted, then all life follows the pattern of broken progression. Some call it redemptive history, still others call it galvanization, yet the trajectory is undoubtedly the same. We exist on a familiar shoreline, with the waters lapping at our feet. We look back and see an explored and thus frozen world. Then, as if subconsciously recognizing the need for change, we dive into a prison of even further inactivity. Uh -huh. My prison was my only friend, it seems, but even he saw fit to spit me upon a new shore. All right. I don't know about New Shore. These things still look kind of the same. What is this? Well, there's some, some octopusy things and a seahorse. Fish, this big old fish popping up. Are those people? Those are people. At least I think they're people. They look like people. They might be statues. I won't lie. I do miss Leviathan. It wasn't his fault that I was a parasite. But was he necessary at all? After being cast out, was devolution in his stomach the appropriate next step? Why couldn't I have simply washed ashore to the old city? That is a good question. go to this. Swing around here. I saw something glowy going the other way. Yeah, down here. What is this? Some 
opens. We got a big old book over here. What's the book say? Jonah. Trust stupid ideas to die with stupid people. Interesting. Wait. Those are both page seven. I, I, I think physics disagrees with you. And those are page seven and eight, maybe. But if you want to call them both page seven, you do that. Oh, we gotta say, whoop. Whoop. Fancy thing. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Nothing? It's fish. Min miniature. I'm a gird. A miniature. <laughs> uh, let's see now. Let's sneak our way down. What on earth is going on down here? Doop 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 doop. -do. Nothing. Anything. Nope. Huh. Oh, we got a house. What's going on in the house? It's a person. Or a statue. Perhaps Leviathan existed for me to discover him, even if that which I explored was my prison. Perhaps I simply needed to see the stagnation before evolving. Maybe. That's entirely possible. thing popping up. Where does this go? Boats. Oh, I see boats. But I can't go down that way. Giant minotaur dude. When I was a child, I was given a rowboat. I wanted to sail, so the universe built me a galleon. How unfortunate that when I got older, I no longer wished to explore. Dude, just walking. Oh, there's some more drawings over here. Belief deduction. Oh. That's neat. Is it going to switch back? No. You get closer and it's like belief, question mark, question mark. Interesting. Look, I thought there might be a pattern up there in them stars, but there is not. So this must be the way to go, because I don't think I can get down there. Yeah, didn't think so. All right, through the door. What's on the other side? It's a space.
very surreal, this game. Where am I going? Up here. Follow the fish statues. Oh wait, is this that place? I am going to explore again. I'm going to board my it vessel is. and sail into oh. an unknown world to dream all the more. I'll leave this dream behind to feel the sand of other shores in my hand and let it loose as I travel inward towards newness. First, however, I'll make one last dive into abyss. That way. Is that... This is the big room that I, I went in with the first vision place where it had this Okay, so that's a woman, and that's a man, long table, having dinner, trying to con converse over this long distance, which is extremely impractical, and there was another long table there out in the middle of nowhere made out of metal that looked similar in setup to this. Now you got these pipes, which are distinctly out of place. Typewriter. Lighthouse, a sailboat. All right, let's go. Loading. <clears throat> what do we have here? Leviathan with an eye over the eye. Ha ha. Very interesting. Okay. Here lies my captor, the great sleeping fish. Just my foundation's been disintegrated. I'm left with nothing but void. However, the baby of belief need not be thrown out with the bathwater of certainty. An assertion from an assumption is still an assertion, making any deduction from that foundation subject to critique. I may not be able to deduce from a place that I know to be true, but that which I deduce from my dreams must still be compatible with itself. Okay. It's like I'm underwater. Like a child, I regressed with no end. Over and over I asked, why? as each answer demanded further questioning. Eventually, I convinced myself that the regression was nonsensical, by nature of it being childish. But what if that childlike curiosity is the vessel that can bring us to usefulness? What if we put aside the certainty and adopt discovery? Okay. That's kind of a philosophy I can get behind. It's like I'm underwater. I think I was wrong. Dover isn't where my dreams died. It's where one dream took over. I dreamt that I had no dreams. I dreamt that Dover smothered my belief with certainty. In truth, a truth that I cannot know, 
Dover ran red. The dream of realism created a monopoly of comfortable stagnation that held me hostage until I could do nothing but cling to Leviathan's innards for safety. My belief was not truly killed, it was captured. One belief was deemed more true than another, and I convinced myself that I was correct. I convinced myself that I could be correct. What if this dream's monopoly was disintegrated? What if I could explore a multiplicity of dreams, never quite knowing which ones are a reality? Truth must be compatible with itself, but what happens when truth is unattainable? Buddy, you all right? Huh. I go up here. I go this way or this way. I go this way. Leads up. Big old bookshelves. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm not interested in going down there. head just chilling did he have that stuff on him when I was looking at him below truth must be compatible with itself based on a starting point I can't prove I can't assert which dream is not a dream at all, because they're all just dreams. Why not discover the dreams I can control, rather than hiding portions of them away to let what I was certain of flourish? I don't know. Is this Leviathan? I think it is. Hi. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, Well, this is a first for me. Actually, no, it's not. I did a similar thing in Star Tropics. One last look at my cage. One last dive into the abyss of negativity. A terrible world full of terrible people, yes, but that can be changed. Epistemic humility can regress to the deconstruction of stagnation. What I previously thought to be stagnation itself, the lack of any true knowledge, is simply the deconstruction of an anchor, freeing oh. us to traverse the unexplored. That's that big thing I saw moving in the water back in Sheol. Wow. And just random building the heck okay. I swam the depths I confronted the bottom of the redemptive check mark I was far more negative than those who still cling to certainty 
But that's part of the progression. It's part of the broken progression. In this respect, we cannot improve without first deconstructing. Now, all that's left is to rise to the surface, board my vessel, and set sail for a new and terrifyingly uncertain world. The old city has called, and I wish that more would have the bravery to join me on my journey. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Contentment is a dream that they will never realize, neither will you. Who are you? What are your dreams? Who was Val? What were her dreams? Who was Solomon? What were his dreams? Who was Abraham? What are his dreams? Wow. I wonder if I had gotten some more secrets, if there would be more stuff kicking around here. I don't know. Going up. Hmm. Okay. So now all that's gone. And I'm here. I can't go back. And there's just a, uh, there's not a great big gap here. Old city retention. All right. Only one way to go. The old city. What is this now? It's still black on my screen. I'm not seeing anything. Popping up here. Can I move? Um. Okay, just hear the noise is like the beach. But I'm not getting any. Not seeing anything. Oh, are we done? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Well. <laughs> Uh, that was the old city of Leviathan. Um, huh. Very interesting. I think the fact that it ended the way it ended, it's supposed to leave you wondering what all that was about. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a very open to interpretation type ending. Uh, did I get all of Solomon's notes? I got seven of them. I don't know what those mean. But yeah, hmm. Very interesting. Uh, it definitely gave me a very narrative-driven experience, this game, and it definitely uh, lived up to the fact that it's like, you get to figure out what happens on your own, more or less. Granted, I was not up to that task. I have no fucking idea what happened. Pardon my French. <laughs> Still, this was a very interesting game. I may have to play uh, other ones like this, just to uh, just to poke my nose around. Hmm. But yes, uh, that was uh, the old city Leviathan. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you like what I'm doing, please give that like button a tap. Give that subscribe button a tap as well, if you haven't already, so you can be kept apprised of when I do new videos. And throw a comment in the comment section. What do you think about the old city Leviathan? What do you think happened in this uh, strange world? Was he just dreaming all that? 
I am. Um, part of me wants to say he was, but I don't know. So do all that, and until next time, my friends, remember, keep playing games. <laughs>